Now let's see what is nature of quadratic form. This is the general form of a quadratic form in three variables x, y, z and its canonical form is given by q equal to lambda 1 y 1 square plus lambda 2 y 2 square plus lambda 3 y 3 square. The lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are eigenvalues of the matrix A. Now the given uh, quadratic form is positive definite if all coefficients are positive. Coefficients are nothing but lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 means all eigenvalues are positive then the given quadratic form is positive definite. So to identify the nature of uh, quadratic forms you have to convert the given quadratic form into canonical form then only you can check its nature. Therefore I am referring here Q means this canonical form. If all coefficients are negative, all eigenvalues are negative, then Q is negative definite. If at least one of the coefficient is 0 and rest are positive, then it is positive semi-definite. Now, don't see this, you have to see the canonical form. At least one of the coefficient is 0 and rest are positive, then it is positive semi-definite. If at least one of the coefficient is 0 and rest all are negative then the quadratic form is negative semi-definite. If uh, some coefficients are non-negative and some are positive, negative that is positive, zero, it's a mixture of a positive coefficient, zero also or it's a mixture of a negative, positive. So in that case we call it as a indefinite quadratic form. So this is how to find out the nature of a quadratic form. So you always have to convert the given quadratic form into canonical form to identify its nature. Now what is rank, index and signature of a quadratic form? So to identify this also you need to convert the given quadratic form into canonical form using orthogonal transformation orthogonal transformation. So now rank of the quadratic form is number of non-zero terms in the canonical form. Index of the quadratic form is number of positive terms in the canonical form. Sign of uh, the quadratic form is number of positive terms minus number of negative terms in the canonical form. So here I, Q refers to the canonical form. So rank of a quadratic form is number of non-zero terms Index of the quadratic form is number of positive terms in the canonical form. Sign is number of positive terms minus number of negative terms in the canonical form. So you always need a canonical form to identify its nature and rank index and signature of quadratic form. Let us have one example to understand this. Find rank index and signature of quadratic form. This is the quadratic form. First we have to obtain its canonical form using orthogonal transformation. So the matrix of the quadratic form is coefficient of x square 3, coefficient of x y that is here minus 2 divided by 2 minus 1, coefficient of x z 2 by 2 1, then coefficient of y x y x that is same as x y minus 2 by 2 minus 1 the coefficient of y square is 5 then coefficient of y z which is minus 2 by 2 minus 1 then coefficient of z x is 2 by 2 1 then coefficient of uh, z y which is uh, minus 2 divide by 2 minus 1 because half into coefficient of z y coefficient of z square is 3. So this is how we obtain the matrix of the given quadratic form. Let us find out its eigenvalues. Eigenvalues are of A are given by the roots of the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is lambda cube minus trace of A into lambda square plus A11 plus A22 plus A33 cofactors of diagonal elements into lambda minus determinant of A equal to 0. This is how we find the um, characteristic equation of the given matrix. Now lambda cube minus trace of A means sum of diagonal elements 3 plus 5 plus 3 into lambda square plus cofactors of diagonal elements sign are positive for all the three diagonal elements delete first row first column 5 3 is a 15 minus 1 that is 14 
plus delete second row second column 9 minus 1 8 plus delete third row third column then you will get this 2 by 2 determinant 3 5 is a 15 minus 1 that is 14 again minus determinant of the matrix that is 3 into 15 minus 1 minus of minus plus delete first row second column minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 plus 1 into delete th first row third column 1 minus 5 this is 3 into 14 minus here it is minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 this is minus 4 42 minus 6 this gives you 36 so determinant is 36 therefore you have to solve this cubic equation now this is zero lambda so this is a cubic equation i have to get its roots so that is 1 minus lambda synthetic division i will try 36 minus 36 now 0 is not root of this equation because there exists non-zero constant here you have to check is 1 a root 1 okay right start here 1 1 as it is 1 into 1 1 minus 10 minus 10 into 1 minus 10 so that gives you 26 26 is 1 is 26 which gives you minus 10 which is non-zero remainder so 1 is not a root therefore you have to check with the next number 2 is 2 a root of this equation let us check that 2 write this one as it is this value either is 2 1 is 2 minus 9 9 2 is a minus 18 so you will get 18 18 2 is a 36 minus 36 plus 36 is 0 therefore one factor is lambda minus 2 the remaining factors are given by the quadratic equation here lambda square minus 9 lambda plus 18 equal to 0 so here I will get lambda minus 2 I have to factorize this quadratic equation quadratic uh, factor to get its factors to and finally to get the roots of the characteristic equation this is lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 3 lambda plus 18 equal to 0 so that is lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0 so therefore eigenvalues are 2 comma 3 comma 6 hence canonical form is q equal to 2 y1 square plus 3 y2 square plus 6 into y3 square now we have to find the rank index and signature of quadratic form you can have nature of quadratic form also all coefficients are positive in the canonical form therefore this is positive definite the nature of this quadratic form is positive definite and we have seen here rank is number of non-zero terms in q so rank of q equal to number of non-zero terms there are three non-zero terms because each eigenvalue is non-zero therefore rank of q equal to 3 next index of quadratic form is number of positive terms in q so index of q is index of q is number of positive terms each coefficient is positive therefore we will have 3 signature of quadratic form is equal we have here signature of quadratic form is number of positive terms minus number of negative terms in the canonical form so here in the canonical form number of positive terms 3 minus number of negative terms 0 there are no negative terms that is equal to 3 therefore signature of quadratic form is also 3
This is how we find rank index and signature of the quadratic form. And we can have nature of quadratic form also. Nature of quadratic form is equal to positive definite. That is because each coefficient of the canonical form is positive. Hence, the given quadratic form is positive definite.